is saying, let us not forget about Runford. We cannot be a society which allows the majority to vote on the rights of the minority. This concept has never been a good idea. More importantly, this concept has never been fair. Today, we are being told by anti-gay advocates, the populace from each state should have the right to vote for or against gay marriage. While this may sound like an excellent proposal, in reality, it is not. Our laws cannot be prescribed by the whims of a dictator or by the capricious nature of a majority. History teaches us that majorities have been just as draconian as dictators. And there are several examples that lend credence to this fact. Let us not forget about Runford. The Runford case is a prime illustration of why the populace has absolutely no business voting on the rights of a minority group. In 1963, Runford Fair Housing Act, drafted by William Byron Runford, became the law in the state of California. This act prevented landlords from denying housing because of ethnicity, sex, religion, physical handicap, marital status, and familial status. But the primary reason for passing the law was to prevent property owners from refusing to sell or rent their property to colored customers. Conservatives were outraged such an act passed, which they believed was an infringement on individual freedoms. Ronald Reagan even expressed his disgust with the law by saying, If an individual wants to discriminate against Negroes or others in selling or renting his house, it is his right to do so. End of quote. In 1964, the California Real Estate Association supported an initiative called Proposition 14 to counteract Runford Law. Endorsement of Proposition 14 by conservatives increased its popularity. In November of 1964, 65% of Californians passed the proposition making it legal for landowners to deny housing to African Americans or any other minority group. Any clear thinking person knows the majority in California was wrong. And based on this example alone, any clear thinking person should know why the rights of homosexuals cannot be left up to the majority. As a society, we should learn from our past. History bears out that the majority was never supportive of the rights of people of color during the civil rights era. And as a result, people of color suffered. And now, we want to put the fate of homosexuals in the hands of the majority. When will we learn? Looking backwards should be a guide in avoiding past mistakes as opposed to duplicating the obvious wrongs. And the obvious wrong in this case is affording the majority the right to decide the fortunes of another minority group.